Today is the first company I bring to you outside of the USA. Specifically, they are located in Scotland. And we are talking none other than Beard Tings. Come check these guys out. going on everybody thank you for stopping by the channel if you haven't yet consider hitting that like and subscribe button i appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel today as i had mentioned we are talking my first company outside of the u.s that i've been able to try and that is beard tings beard tings is located in scotland they're originally their owner named andy was originally located in london at the start of covid19 he decided to pack his things up move back to Scotland and start launching Beard Tings in December. So they are still a very, very new company. They've got a bunch of different scents, a bunch of different balms out there for you guys to try. Really, really good products. I've noticed it's kind of uh, cologne inspired, it seems, with the first two scents that I've got to try for them. Today, I have got two oils and one balm for you guys from Beard Tings. Very, very cool labeling here. I like this. It's going to show up kind of tough on camera here. Uh, really nice kind of black and gold look to it. It's got the ingredients and description on how to use it here on the back. It's very small. I wish that was a little bit bigger, but it does have a very, very classy look. These are going to stand out on your beard shelves. And then it comes with this handy dandy little tag letting you know what scent you have. Today we have got Black Oak as well as, I think this is probably his top seller. We have got Vanilla Killa for you guys. Very cool label in here. I like how the bottles kind of change. I think he's got half in this gold color and then half in the black color. You're not going to be able to see a whole lot of the labels here going on. It is very cool. Looks very similar to the black. Just kind of exchanges those colors a little bit. The first one I wanted to get into is black oak. It is a truffle, plum, patchouli, lang lang, and rum scent. Oh yeah, and it is this is very, very cologne to me. The plum definitely stands out as well as the patchouli. And then once I get this kind of worked into beard, that rum is kind of almost like a little bit of a bay rum scent definitely comes out. Very, very nice scent here. I would definitely consider this a date night scent for me. Very, very nice scent. You're looking viscosity wise. Nice clear oil here. It is a pretty thin oil. Definitely keeps my beard feeling soft during the day. Um, scent wise, I would say I'm getting a good four to six hours, pretty strong. And then it slowly fades away. It's not an all day scent, but it is perfect for a good amount of a date night. If you wanted to wear this for a daytime scent, very, very nice oil here from Beard Tings. Oil wise, I, I had to do the conversion because of course they're running on pounds over there. Conversion rate, you're looking at about $17.50 per oil. So not a bad price at all. Um, you know, shipping, I'm not really sure how that's going to work, uh, what you're going to pay shipping fees, what shipping time is going to be. But if you need to reach out to Andy, I'm, of course, going to tag where to find Andy and Beard Tings down below. So just reach out. He'll take care of you. He'll let you know what you're looking at shipping time-wise. Next, we have got Vanilla Killa. This one, just from the scent profile, I knew I was going to like it. It is a vanilla oud leather and tobacco scent. Yeah, and out of bottle, you get nothing, nothing but vanilla. Very, very strong vanilla scent here. The oud and the leather, it's very light in the leather. I wish there was a little bit more leather, but the oud definitely stands out. And then the, once you get it in beard, that tobacco really, really pulls through. Very, very nice scent here. Careful with these. If you twist them too tight, they're just going to pop off. So be careful with those. Just tighten them just enough if you happen to pick some of these up from beard Things. I just love the look of these bottles here. Uh, they just, just don't happen to show up very well on camera. Ingredients wise, I like I said, it's very, very small on the back here. Uh, so I just went ahead and wrote it down. It's argan oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, and essential oil blend. Very, you know, kind of basic blend, but it does work. Keeps my beard feeling soft. Definitely a great oil if you're looking for something. Uh, whether you're first company outside of the U.S. or if you are in you know, Scotland or somewhere out in the UK, definitely one I would consider picking up. Like I said, oil-wise, you're looking at about $17.50 US dollars. I think it was £12.99 if you were out there in the UK. 
Next, I have got the matching Balm of Vanilla Killer. I like kind of, you can see the gold top here with the black lettering, and then he's got the side here. Very cool. I like how the colors kind of change there. Very cool. All of these are really nice glass jars. Um, he actually sent me a matching balm for the black oak, but it didn't make it safely. The RE post office, you guys know, just bash the crap out of things when it comes to you. And I sent him these glass things banging on each other the whole ride. It, it just exploded. I picked up the package. I could hear it rattling around. I was like, oh no, something did not make it. I sent it to Andy. I sent him a photo. Just let him know what was going on, why it wouldn't be in the review. And uh, he's going to send one out to me. Just replace it. Very, very nice guy. He's uh, definitely super generous to definitely send that all the way back from Scotland. Balm wise, you're looking at beeswax, mango butter, sweet almond oil, and essential oil blend. He does send you this nice little pick here. I haven't used it. I haven't found the need to use it yet for these guys' balm. Uh, nice little pick for your balm, kind of like a guitar pick. Very cool. Um, but his balms are soft enough, I can just dig my finger through here. So you're just going to see me just kind of cake through this. It's definitely tough. You can tell it's got the beeswax in it, but uh, it does emulsify. It, you're, it's easy enough to get it out without this guitar pick. This is just kind of a nice look type thing for me. Very, very good balm here. It will emulsify quite easily, actually. Quite easily for beeswax being the top ingredient. It does emulsify very easily, but once I get it in beard, I can tell that beeswax is in there. It's got a pretty firm to, I would say, a medium to light hold, but it seems pretty firm. Definitely holds those flyaways in, uh, locks in that moisture into your beard. Really, really nice feeling beard. And the, the scent really matches the vanilla killer oil, which is something you guys know I'm a huge fan of. When your oils and your balms or your oils and your butters can match scents up, uh, I really don't like to get any off scents from adding a different product to my beard. So a really good job by Andy getting his balm scent to match that oil with vanilla killer. You're looking at about $19 for a two ounce balm from Beard Tings. If you want to get a combo, I kind of did the math. It broke down to about $29.75 US dollars for an oil and balm combo. He also offers, you can get his entire line. He's got six oils, six balms. You can get that for $149. That seems like a killer price to me. Uh, I don't know what you're going to pay for shipping to get that here. I would guess you're probably looking at about 200 bucks to get his entire line. Not, not a terrible price for something with really good products all the way from the UK. I did ask Andy if he's got anything new coming up. He does have an aloe vera and tea tree kind of a beard cleanser. It looks like it's going to come in a, kind of like a, a balm or butter kind of canister like this. So I'm very interested to see kind of how that works, how you apply it, how it works for your beard. So if you guys want to go check out Beard Tings all the way out from the UK, I really enjoyed my first experience with a company not within the US. Very good products. Uh, the prices are seem right up the alley for what we charge here in the US. So you're not going to get overcharged until you probably run into those shipping fees. I will link all of Andy's stuff down below, Instagram, where to shop out in the UK. Uh, I think there's a discount code in his Instagram profile if you sign up for the email address. Um, so that might be something you want to consider, save yourself a little bit of money. So you guys go check out Beard Tings, my first experience all the way from Scotland. Andy, I think you're doing a great job. Definitely a great start for a new company. As always, guys, peace out. I love you, and we'll see you next time.